Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and hung out with Sonata-san a little bit, and we also learned about uh, Fuka Yamagishi, another Persona user. I think we learned about her before the previous episode, but we learned a bit more about her, and we learned about some bullying cases that are going on around the school. And also, Yukari said the famous line that she's known for. In this episode, we're approaching June right now, meaning we're getting closer and closer to summer vacation, and we're also getting closer and closer to the next full moon, so... Hopefully nothing too crazy happens, but knowing that this is a video game and crazy stuff needs to happen for the plot to progress, we can... you can bet that something crazy is about to happen. Oh, oh Yuki-kun, you know those rumors? They are a little creepy. Rumors suck, man. The one about the girl who collapsed is already all over school. I hope no one spreads any rumors about me. Indifferent student just keeps talking about how everything sucks. He's called indifferent student, but he seems very pessimistic. I pity the fool who don't know when to quit. Mr. J says to throw in the towel, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Real talk, though, I'm a little worried about how more and more people are becoming victims. That was certainly something. So who do we have to hang out with? Uh, Maiko's the only one who's going to rank up. Chihiro and Yuko are... Let's see, should we go to the shrine and pray, or should we just straight up hang out with one of them? I don't think I've actually shown off just like normal hanging out with someone, so I'll go ahead and just hang out with someone just to show it off. I heard a girl from class 2 E fainted. Apparently it was apathy syndrome. Kind of scary, huh? You'd always stay out late, right? I bet you just happened to faint at the school gates. Apathy syndrome is so over is so exaggerated, she'll probably wake up soon. So yeah, whenever you aren't about to rank up, you just get like a basic, normal message. Oh, Yuki-kun. You know about the nightclub at Polonium Mall, right? I never really cared for it since the place seems kinda sketchy. I hear a weird crowd hangs around there. Like, there's some guy dressed as a monk partying hard every night. Hmm. So this is actually something important, so I'm glad I talked to Yuko here. No way he's a real monk, right? Are monks even allowed to drink alcohol? So let's hang out with you. Sweet, then let's go hang out somewhere fun. So, so they are the Athletes Training Regimen, and... I can feel my bond with Yuko grow stronger as we spend time together. I feel like our relationship will grow stronger soon. That's how you know that next time you talk to her, you'll be able to rank up. Oh, hey, welcome back. Did you hear the rumor going around school? I mean, come on, a ghost story? You'd think they'd be old enough to know ghosts aren't real. Anyway, uh, I'm kind of feeling uneasy all of a sudden, so I think I'll go to bed early. Oh, uh, so I won't be going to Tartars today then. Sorry. Hmm, it seems Takebakun has a sixth sense when it comes to shadows. Actually, that's quite common. Dealing with shadows has a tendency to enhance other... senses. I don't like the way that that was said. Oh, right. Apparently, Tartarus is off limits today. Mitsuru is in training and Takeba has a bad feeling right now. Sheesh. Could you be any more mysterious about it? Oh my god, Stupe, shut up! Now I'm never gonna get sleep tonight. Right. Well, I guess I should take responsibility and come by your room tonight and check on you and... What? And what exactly? Do I need to call the police? Or better yet, Kurijo-senpai? Wait, wait, I was just gonna say and sing you a lullaby. It was just a joke. What are you saying, Junpei? Yukatan's freaking out for no reason. All I said to her was that someone might be in her room, or under her bed, or in her closet. I mean, come on, that's nothing to get all worked up about, right? That's scary. Wait, seriously? All she'll probably see is one of those big-ass cockroaches. Well, I guess that would be pretty scary, too. Yeah! Ugh. The wait is over. I love opening my phone every single time to see the wait is over. I'm sorry, but I'm in the middle of my train of training my persona to search for enemies. The others appear to be busy as well. If you were planning to go to Tartarus, perhaps it would be better to go another night instead. So, yep, everyone unanimously agrees not going to Tartarus, so... Guess we'll just have to hang out somewhere else. Uh, oh, the monk is actually... We're able to hang out with him, so... Let's go to Club Escapade. There's also the man in the suit. Did we get to level 4 in our... No, we haven't yet. And I'm kind of glad because there is also some other stuff to unlock that social link. Uh, with the man in the suit, Tanaka. Uh, that we won't be able to do yet. Uh, or at least we could, but it would like, kind of handicap us. <laughs> Where's my booze? Lazy-eyed monk is drinking. I mustered, enough, I mustered up enough courage to talk to him. I do believe you have to have uh, rank 2 courage to speak with him. And I think for Kotane, uh, the female protagonist from Portable, I think she might need level 4 courage, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Don't 
hold me to that. Booze, where's my booze? I don't got nothing to say to you if you don't got any booze. So let's go get him some booze. I mean, we're 16 or 17, so we're not really allowed to handle booze, but I'm right. sure it's fine. What, you want a drink? You're under rage, aren't you? No, it's for the monk upstairs, huh? It's the truth. So you say, look, I'm busy here, and some and something like this could really get me in trouble. See ya. Okay, how about this? Can you go around and take everyone's orders? If you do that, I'll bring a drink upstairs for him. So yeah, the there are several people around here. Four people plus the den mama over there, but she doesn't want a drink. Uh, let's talk to them individually. Huh? What do you want? Oh, you're taking orders? In that case, bring me a ginger ale. Wait, I changed my mind making an oolong tea. Are you trying to hit on me? Oh, you're just taking orders. Uh, I'll have a screwdriver. Wait, make that a margarita. Actually, scratch that. I'll go with my original order. Hmm, what do I feel like? Darn, I should check my horoscope for today's lucky drink. Maybe I should get an apple martini. Nah, too sorry. New long tea might be good. Wait, that's kind of boring. I'll have a bling Mary. You taking orders? Oh, um, can I have a margarita? Girl by the entrance order. That was a margarita, right? I have a horrible memory. Um, yeah, margarita. What did the girl standing by the table in the back want? See ya. You wanted a screwdriver. Yeah, screwdriver, and then the guy wanted the oolong tea. Oh, hey. See ya. I don't think there's actually a punishment for not getting it right. He's just like, hey, you failed. Go do it again. You want again? Alrighty. Stuff for the monk upstairs. Serve him a glass since you don't seem like a bad kid. Head and let him know that his drink's coming up. Alright. Oh, hey. See you around. Oh, where's my drink? I told him that I've ordered his drink. That must have impressed the monk. He seems to have taken an interest in me. You look awfully young, kid. Still in high school? What are the employees here thinking, like someone like you in? Well, <clears throat> since you got me a drink, I'll pretend I'm your guardian so you don't get thrown out of here. Take a seat. Well, come on, kid, sit down. I'm gonna look up at you, straining my neck. So, you wanted to see where adults spend their time, huh? Not that I can't relate. Well, don't worry. Two or three more years, you'll be old enough to hang out here unsupervised. Just take it easy, kid. You'll be legal before you know it. No need to rush. Trying to act like an adult just makes you look more like a kid. You know? <laughs> I guess that sounds funny coming out of an alcohol drinking cigar smoking monk, huh? What's a cigar taste like? Well, what does it taste like? Like leaves. I can't think of any other way to describe it. Man, it ain't supposed to taste good. I just smoke because it helps me think straight. Young people always think the grass is greener on the other side. Well, don't get your hopes up too high, kid. That way, you won't be disappointed when things don't work out. Because there might come a time when you'll have to drink when you don't want to and smoke just to get through the day. There are nothing like those punks I see running around town these days. <laughs> Can't say the same for my son, though. Always being taken in by the police for questioning. It's disgraceful. <laughs> I'm gonna remember your face, kid. Next time you come in here, I'm gonna have you thrown out. Got it? <laughs> I became acquainted with the strange monk. So yeah, he's one of our two nighttime social links, and it's mostly just here to give us stuff to do at nighttime because, you know, once we uh, do our three uh, uh, social stats, we won't really have much to do during the night, so I'll level him up when I see him, but if I really want to level up a social stat, I'll focus on that. You've had your fill, hit the road. And don't come back. Ooh, phone call. 
few messages. Jihiro! Oh, and Yuko. Well, I just leveled up Yuko, so I'm gonna be hanging out with Jihiro. Yeah. What's up, Jihiro? Sorry to make you wait for so long. Once I start reading, I uh, sometimes have to have a difficult time stopping. That was the only place I could think of where we can relax without having to spend much money. But um, now that I think about it, maybe this place wasn't such a good idea. There's not much point in meeting up if we're both just going to read on our own, huh? So this actually does matter what you choose. If you choose the wrong option, it'll stunt the growth of your social link. But if you choose the right option, it'll give you quite a few points. Now, I, al I always have trouble with these because whenever I look up guides for these on the internet, they're never really helpful because they like state specific days that these are on and it's never the right day. And then I'll never be able to find the specific like scenario here. But this should be pretty easy. I'll just say I think it's fun, actually. What a relief. Yes! Oh, I'm glad. I was worried. I was the only one having fun. But I'll come here alone from now on. When I'm with you, I want to have time to talk. Chiro's blushing. I learned a little bit more about her today. Oh. oh, look at the time. Days off always seem to go by so quickly, don't they? Um, would it be okay if I walked with you back to your dorm part of the way? Chihiro and I walked together and parted ways as I neared the dorm. So yeah, that's an entire day gone by. We're starting to, as you can see, go through these days a lot more quickly. Oh, you're back. Hey, Mitsuru, what are you doing over by the, uh, computer here? Hmm? hmm? Is something the matter? Honestly. This isn't- this incident is quite troubling. As the res as the student council president, I need to do something. Though it doesn't help that I have no idea what's really going on. Damn, rumors spread fast, especially this one. Everyone at school knows about it, and soon everyone in town will too. By the way, if you're looking for Mitsuru, she's in the back of the reception area. Apparently she's uploading the dorm's records or something to the school server. She's gotta do it every so often. I know it's her job, but still, she's really got a lot on her plate. I guess that's just to stop you from using the computer all the time. The girl they found was one of those girls I overheard talking about bullying someone. It's probably unrelated though, right Yukikun? Let's ask the ace detective. <sighs> what? Oh, you're talking about Junpei? Ah, uh, seriously, he's such an idiot. Anyways, as always, we gotta uh, spend some time at Wild Duck. I still haven't looked up whether or not this is a scam or if it, or if it actually does help us out a little bit more than the normal Wild Duck stuff. Either way, it's only an extra $200, so it doesn't hurt that much. Anyways, welcome to June. Not that June, though. The actual month June. We're switching to the summer in uniform today. So yeah, we got new outfits for everyone. It's almost time to leave. And of course, these can all be worn in Tartarus, so... Good morning. Good morning. The student body seems to be rather restless lately, don't you agree? Is that so? You don't sense it? Well, I hope it doesn't have anything to do with the shadows. Akihiko said we may be receiving a new member, but we still don't know when we'll be attacked, so remain alert at all times. I forget if I've mentioned this before, but I think I might start making Sundays just the day where I go to the shrine to help out with other social links. And if not, then we can spend time with Maya and whoever else pops up on Sunday. Ghosts can be so creepy, but they don't have to be, right? If there was a ghost that looked like a cute girl, I wouldn't mind being haunted by it. Well, as long as she doesn't devour my soul or something. Okay, we can level up Odagiri. And that's about it, so... Do I have an Emperor on me at the moment? No. This one? Very well. it's yours. Are you, you know what? I just bought a Persona, and we have a tiny amount of money. Since Officer Kurosawa has a sale today, I'm gonna go ahead and buy stuff from him because I'll be honest, I've been putting off buying new weapons for way too long, so let's go ahead and hang out with him. Or not hang out, but talk to him. Junpei doesn't need to buy new weapons, so that's cool. Akihiko definitely does though, especially since he just joined us. Oh, that's a hundred attack? Gonna sell the imitation katana. What kind of armor is there? I'll wait to buy armor for everyone until after our next Tartarus visit when we have a bit more money. Let's see, what should we give Takeba? Okay, 
That's a lot worse accuracy. But a hundred power. Or a hundred attack, rather. It really depends on how often are we going to have Takeba uh, melee attack. I think I might go for the accuracy one a bit more. Toy Bow still is really good, and so I feel bad for selling it. I'm going to stay undecided on which one I want Takeba to use. Everyone else has the equipment that I want. But I'll decide later if I want Takeba to, to change her weapon. This is Odagiri. Today's student council duties are the same as usual. Come to the student council room if you'd like to attend. That's all. Alright, Odagiri. I'm counting on you. For both our sakes. I understand. Oh! Hey, Odagiri. What was that about? What did he mean by for both our sakes? He just wants to create a better school environment, so he simply asked a student fit for the job. Just like how the president asked him to join the student council to help out. What? You can't decide something like that without talking to the president first. What happened? Someone found a cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom. And that teacher wants the disciplinary committee to look into whose it was. Someone has broken school rules. It's only natural that I'm involved in finding and holding the transgressor accountable. Look, you have two choices. Either help out and prove you can be trusted, or refuse and prove you can't. <sighs> People like you and me have to deal with a lot of crap around here, don't we? Odagiri seems to have high expectations of me. I feel like we're becoming better friends. Well then, I'll be excusing myself. Hey! Don't ignore me! You kiss ass! Student council members shouldn't be fighting like this, should they? I better go tell the president! My work here is done, so I'll head home. You didn't do anything. <laughs> I mean, I guess that is your job. I mean, you don't really have to do anything, so... I don't know. Hey, you Yukitan. You ever check out the student message boards and stuff? You know how last week that girl was found by the front gate? Well now, they're saying it was an angry spirit from this one ghost story that did it! Come on, nobody really believes that stuff. Right? What's this ghost story about? What? It's probably made up. We don't need to go into details, do we? I'm interested. Go on, tell us. Mm. You got it. Here goes. Good evening, and welcome to Junpei's Believe It. Or don't. There are many strange things in this world. Legend has it, late at night, after everyone has gone home, a maniacal ghost roams the halls and devours anyone caught in its grasp. The other day, this friend of mine, let's call him Witness A. Anyway, he said to me, Hey, Iori. I saw something weird the other day. He sounded so serious, so I asked him what he'd seen. He told me he saw the girl from 2E and claims he watched her go into the school on the night before the incident. I told him I don't believe it, not even for a second. That girl from 2E ain't the type to go wandering around at night. But Witness A was as white as a sheet. He swore to me it was true. Then it hit me. If the girl was found unconscious at school, then maybe the ghost really did make her its dinner. It all made sense. She went to the school at night and walked right into its deadly trap! I felt a chill run down my spine, 
and I broke into a cold sweat. Yes, there truly are some strange things in this world. Believe it or don't. What do you think, Akihiko? Seriously? Not one word about my amazing performance just now? I'm not so interested in the ghost part, but it does sound like it's worth investigating. So, you're afraid of ghosts, huh, Yukata? Didn't know you were such a chicken. What? Who are you calling a chicken? Fine then, let's investigate it. Each of us will ask around for the rest of the week and gather information. This ghost story is just a bunch of nonsense. I'll show you. Sounds good to me. The story is a bit unnerving, isn't it? Huh? Well, leave it to you guys then. Would have been too scary for me. What? <laughs> well, that seems like a good place to end off of this episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next episode, it'll be time for us to play Junior Detective, go around talking to people at the school, and we'll be seeing what's up about that rumor. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!